What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Earlier this week, do you remember when I said we had big things coming to the channel? Well that's because we do. And that is one of them. So if you guys want to see what is inside this box, do me a huge favor. Drop a like up on this video, drop a comment down below, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already because this thing right here is game changer. Well now that you guys have liked the video, subscribed, and commented, which you better have, let's get this thing inside and open it up. Oh, yep, okay, that's heavy. If only you guys knew how, oh my God, how heavy this is, one, but how excited I am for this. Okay, yeah, I can't really talk, I can't focus. But yes, I am super excited about this box right here because when it comes to the 2013, 2014 Mustang GTs, this right here is gonna solve a lot of our problems. One of the main problems we have now is that the car is 722 wheel horsepower. <laughs> Get out of here. And whoop bam. And with my Coyote having the VMP Gen 3 R supercharger on it, we made some freaking power. We 100% made more power than the stock clutch out in my car can handle. That is exactly why I haven't been really dogging the car on camera for you guys. It has just been a nightmare. Wait, 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 before I go and open this up, let's go take a little visit to the car really quick. So we got Blue Sephora over here, guys, and if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that I actually removed the stock front bumper, put it on a subscriber's car who drove five hours. This is exactly what we're left with right now, and I know I gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, it's, it's not done yet, trust me. If it were, it'd be on the car and we'd go drive it, but unfortunately, it's not done. The amount of things that are happening to this car in such a short period amount of time are absolutely mind boggling because I've only dreamt of having this car to this point. And I don't know if that really makes sense to many of you, but ever since I've cut the bullshit out and just have been grinding, 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 amazing things have been happening. And with today's video, that is gonna be, I, I'm just beyond stoked, guys. I'm beyond stoked. You're gonna see exactly why, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the car really quick. And it's the same state that it was in yesterday's video. And this right here, guys, is why if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now like look at this see this little button yeah he just clicked it so you should click it right now run those numbers up for me guys drop a thumbs up i don't say drop a like to waste breath it honestly helps my videos each comment and like you guys do on each video actually promotes it and pushes it through youtube's algorithm if a lot of people are interacting on it then you know they're obviously like oh we need to push that content so drop your boy a thumbs up i sound like a broken record but with the amount of views we get in just one hour now there's no excuse why we can't hit 1k views with in the first hour right off rip. So make that happen for your boy. I'm sharing all this content for you guys because if you have a 13, 14, I want to go and influence you guys. I want you guys to be stoked to do things like this to your car. And this is just essentially the beginning, guys. So going back about a year and two months ago when I first picked up Belucifer, there were multiple things that were kind of concerning me. She wants to help unbox this thing already. As I was saying, when I first purchased the car, there were a couple things on my mind to which I knew were gonna be problems or we were gonna run into these problems at some point in time. Two of those problems kind of correspond with each other and that's going to be the stock MT82 transmission that are in the cars. And following with the transmission is gonna be the stock clutch. Some people, you know, can slam gears and red light. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where it's gonna be a hit or miss. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? And it was one of those things to where it was either like a hit or miss with some people. I know same year, same model car, Sky, I am filming here, I'm filming. They have the same model Mustang, 1314 S197 with the stock transmission, stock clutch. And some of them actually have never run into the Coyote lockout problem. Just to dumb it down, the Coyote lockout problem usually occurs when you're trying to race the car from whichever gear you're in, slamming it to red line and trying to shift into the next gear. These Coyotes are notorious for lockouts. It's due to something like with the shifter, the transmission, the clutch, with the flex in it and it doesn't line up or whatever. I don't know the whole science behind it, but essentially it's a huge problem. Now we're talking a problem straight from the factory. And in theory, let's go ahead and say we put on a VMP Gen 3 R supercharger and produce 722 wheel horsepower. And with that horsepower gain being a nearly double, still on the stock transmission and clutch, 
the car can barely hold it. I know I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. That is exactly why I haven't gone out and test the car's true potential because the clutch will sit on the floor. We want no part in that because we're trying to preserve this MT82 for as long as we possibly can. Go ahead and throw in a nice twin disc clutch to support that power. That's exactly what we did guys. We partnered up with Vengeance Clutch and we're gonna go more into that company in just a moment. But that is exactly what is inside this really heavy box and I am so excited to freaking open this. I have no idea what's inside. Obviously a clutch and flywheel I would imagine, but I am just so excited because this is like a huge piece to the puzzle, especially when having a boosted S197. This is gonna change the car completely. So I got my handy dandy knife and I look like a freaking moron, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. I am beyond excited for this. I have waited so long to get this upgrade put in my car and it's not put in my car, we're just opening it. Don't get ahead of yourself, Derek, stay with it. Oh man, here we go. So it looks like we just have like a little package thing right off the bat and what we got here it looks like a shirt maybe open everything oh my god okay i'm not ripping that with my hands yada da do yada da dee i think we have some shirts or a shirt i should say let's check it out booyah look at that oh look at that that is dope it's actually a really sick shirt i love black shirts hey let's go all right i got some more foam padding and here we go guys we have oh my god okay so this is one whole box flywheel and clutch oh my fuck. flywheel and clutch have to be in this box alone we can ditch that all right before we jump the gun let's get into some information about vengeance clutch as you can clearly see competition clutch all right guys i know many of you are probably really really confused in the beginning of this video i mentioned i partnered up with vengeance clutch and you obviously see here we have a competition clutch that's because competition clutch has actually branched out to focus on muscle cars sports cars things in that nature because when it comes to competition clutch they have the jdm market on lockdown for those of you that know for those of you that know competition clutch <clears throat> For, the, for those of for those of you that know for those of you that know or have heard of competition clutch you know this company does not play games and they have some incredibly fast cars running their clutches and when it comes to the quality the precision the build this thing is going to be top notch and i know to some people watching this right now that have mustangs and have aftermarket clutches and things they see competition clutch and they're scratching their heads and saying i've never really heard of that why in the hell would you put that in your car yada 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 and it doesn't really help that vengeance is a new um sister branch or branch off a of competition so it's, it's very unknown but to sum it up guys vengeance clutch is competition clutch and competition clutch has finally stepped into the muscle world and they are providing twin disc clutch for mustangs challengers camaros corvettes and yeah so it's here all right derek back me up cue the drum roll keep it going keep it going keep it going keep it going there we go there we go let's take a look at it man Ooh. oh my gosh oh Holy crap. Okay, so it looks like it's the clutch and flywheel already bolted in. I think it's actually the case. This thing's still heavy. Okay, let's set it on there. Jeez, what a beefy looking clutch. <sighs> Ooh, the smell, the aroma. Oh, yeah, it kind of smells like shit, but hey, it's all good. All right. Oh my good grief, dude. There she is, guys. Take a look at this thing. Oh my god, this thing is dope. Okay, let's not set it on the Loctite, Derek, idiot. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I'm obviously looking at a clutch and um, flywheel. Boy, I, I couldn't tell you what the hell I'm honestly looking at. All I know is it looks good, and this thing right here is gonna be so nice to have in Boosted Lucifer. And we could go... And look at the little details. You can see right here, we got that nice competition clutch badging right there. Pretty dope. All I know is this is way better and gonna be a absolute beast than that stock crappy clutch we have in the car that can barely hold its own from factory. Damn, I might just, you know, not put it in the car and just drum up a little bit when I'm bored. Well, there you have it, guys. The competition clutch, fully built, ready to rock. You know, I gotta find an installer, plan a day, 
and obviously get this thing slapped in, get some brake on miles in it. I want to have it completely broken in before Mustang week. I just think that's ideal. Vengeance clutch, competition clutch. You guys absolutely murdered this. This looks fantastic. And I just, I can't wait to put it in and, you know, test this thing out and see how it does. Super stoked, man. What you think? What are you doing? All right, I'll ship you back. Bye. Hello? It's a cat in the box, dude. Come here. Go get him. Go get him. Well, there you have it, guys. That is today's huge piece of news, and I couldn't be more excited, as I mentioned, four million times. This car has done a complete 180, and it's just, like I said, the beginning. We have a whole new front end coming on. We have a twin disc clutch to install now, and who knows? Maybe we'll put a freaking drag pack on it or something and, you know, see what he can do. Not trying to completely murder the car. That day will come to where we make some passes, but I want to make sure it's at least able to hold up. With that being said, guys, I want to go ahead and thank each and every one of you watching right now from the bottom of my heart you guys have absolutely changed my life and helped me so much when it comes to the progression of my dream car don't ever forget where you came from fam i know i didn't starting off with a six thousand dollar two valve we built a platform sold that picked up a 5.0 got the 5.0 boosted and this this car is more than i could have ever asked for so thank you so much for that and a huge shout out goes out to the monthly dvp squad members their names are listed right here on the screen and if some of you are interested in signing up today is the first of the new month make it happen guys head to the link in the description become a member sign up with tier one or two this month i am going to be starting giveaways shout outs all sorts of things so you don't want to miss it and i greatly 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 appreciate the extra support coming from you guys with that being said though guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a blessed day but until next time we'll see you tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time later